Well, folks, Joe Biden is officially the president of the United States. Uh, his, his staffers getting into the white house, everybody kind of getting settled. You know, it's only been 24 hours. And according to reports, his staffers and his soon to be cabinet members are actually quite terrified of what they're going to find. Now I'm not talking about Trump booby trapping the place. I'm not talking about all the filth, uh, just general literal filth in the office. It was deep cleaned uh, before the Biden team came in. They said in a way that it's never been deep cleaned before. Um, so I, you know, whatever that, but, uh, they're afraid of what they're going to find when they start digging into these new, uh, positions that they have to run, you know, what's going to happen when we start looking into the cabinet. And the reason they're afraid is obviously because Trump had done his best to, uh, hamstring the transition, you know, shut out Biden people as frequently as possible. And let's not forget, and this is the biggest fear that they have, the solar winds hack, you know, that happened or, or that was discovered, I guess, just a, a month or so ago, where we find out that, that foreign hackers got into these U S agencies, into the computer systems, Biden's people going into office did not yet know the full extent of the damage <clears throat> or the full extent of the material accessed by these foreign hackers. So yeah, they're a little concerned. And what they say is that we've only discovered so far the tip of the iceberg in terms of the damage that Trump and his people caused to the United States government. I have to read this from Politico. This is, uh, <clears throat> it's amazing at the national security council, Trump officials, uh, were reluctant to share information about who was even on the staff and at the department of defense requests for information were either ignored or only partially answered. At the Office of Management and Budget, the practice of making career officials available for the incoming administration to craft their budget was disregarded, leaving Biden officials frustrated that their budget will likely be delayed. And at the Office of the United States Trade Representative, the lack of interest in assisting the Biden transition was stated plainly. And of course, Biden's not just walking into this big hack of, you know, our federal offices. Uh, he's also walking right in the middle of a trade war that he is now officially in charge of and they wouldn't work with him coming into office. And now he has the reins to this. He, I'm assuming I, I, you have to assume at this point, he does not understand the full damage that those trade wars have caused. He's been privy to, I I'm assuming a little bit of information. Obviously he can read what we read in the news, but not the nitty gritty. I mean, look, as we all know, let's not be naive about this. There are things that the government knows that we will never know. And Biden was supposed to know these things before he took office. That's what the transition period is all about. To learn what's happening behind the scenes, to learn who the players are. I mean, hell, as this thing mentioned, to even learn who works at these departments. And they intentionally withheld that information from Joe Biden. So he doesn't know if he's inheriting all these agencies filled with Trump loyalists who are going to sabotage him. That's certainly been something that's been discussed this week. He doesn't know the extent of the trade war. He doesn't know. And he is supposed to. So I think at this point, at least for the first couple months here, we're going to have to curtail our expectations. Obviously there's some things he's doing via executive orders that are going to be good, but in terms of being able to reverse a lot of the damage that Trump has done before he can even do that, his team has to actually learn the full extent of the damage that Trump has done. And that is what terrifies them the most.